A lot of people said I was a front runner. A lot of people, you know, said California is the girl to beat. I never let that get to my head, but I was confident. I did see it in my head. I did see me competing for Miss Universe. I did see that coming because I knew who I was and I knew that Miss USA wanted me. I knew that they had needed me. They needed a woman like me. And I knew at that moment, I knew as soon as I said that, as soon as I didn't give the politically correct answer, that there was no way I would be Miss USA. At least that night. <laughs> Little did I know I would be, I feel as though I'm Miss Universe, but. <laughs> But in all seriousness, uh, you know, I am so proud of the stance that I took. I am so proud of the answer that I gave. And God chose me for that moment. He chose me for that moment because he knew that I would not only be the one to stick up for him and for the truth, but also he knew that I am strong enough to get through all of the junk that I have been through. After the pageant was over, that was just the beginning. That was the beginning of a vicious, vicious storm of attacks. Why me, a 22-year-old young woman who had the courage and the bravery that not many people have? I live in the greatest country in the world. And I have never seen anything like this before. I had never seen anything like it. Being a 22-year-old college student, not really into politics, at least I wasn't at the time. <laughs> but now, I have a new outlook on this. And I am disgusted at the way some people can be so intolerant it disgusts me. But you know what? I'm proud of the stance that I took. And I know that God had called me for such a time as this. And even though even though I didn't win the crown that night, I know that the Lord has so much of a bigger crown in heaven for me.